It's the sunny, warmer days that often remind Jennifer Piercy and her husband of their daughter, Jaslyn. She would either be outside with me or if I just went out really quick, she would be at the window. The memories of her excitement and smile are moments her parents will remember forever because much of her five years of life were spent being sick. She was diagnosed the Monday after Thanksgiving of 2012. The doctor said it was neurofibromatosis type 1. It caused a world of health issues, including cancer, that soon made every second with her feel like it could be the last. We started um, doing hospice around October and then she passed in December. Losing her was devastating. What happened next just made it worse. We found out it day 60 after she had passed that her identity was stolen. The Piercy's learned about what happened when they were filing their taxes online, which apparently is the same way a number of other people find out that they're victims too. We do get several reports uh, around tax season around this time of year annually. The Identity Theft Prevention Center says 2.5% of homes in this country with children have experienced some kind of identity fraud where the kids are the victims. Can it be stopped from happening? Probably not. There are some things you can do, though, to protect yourself, at least a little, like making sure you put as little information about yourself on social media as possible. Police also suggest taking your mail out of the box as soon as you can. Believe it or not, thieves will go through it or take it and get a lot of what they need in seconds. <laughs> As for Piercy, she's leaning on God. Going to church, keeping the faith. To get her through the worst thing she's experienced in her life, praying, she says, that the people who stole sweet little Jazzy's identity are brought to justice. They will have to pay.